Hi, and welcome to my review and tutorial of Changely, an instant cryptocurrency exchange. Maybe you've just bought your first Bitcoin from the likes of Coinbase or blockchain, but now you want to have a look at different tips types of cryptocurrencies such as Ripple or Dash, but you don't want to go through on the likes of Bittrex and have to trade for different cryptocurrencies. Well, what Changely allows you to do is exchange up to 50 different cryptocurrencies online pretty instantly and very simply. One of the other great things about Changely is they have very low fees at 0.5%. So as opposed to other exchanges or maybe in different types of wallets that charge slightly more than that. They're also very fast in the fact that they will make the exchange within 5 to 30 minutes. Now as you can see from the below, there's loads of different types of cryptocurrencies that you can exchange. There's around 50 and they're always adding new different cryptos. Recently they've added Bitcoin Gold. Now in terms of signing up for the Changely account, it's pretty easy to do so. There are different methods that you can use. You can sign up using a Google Plus account, using Facebook or Twitter, or you can enter your, in your email address into this section and then go through the sign up process. Now, I've already created my account. I found it pretty easy to do so. However, if you've got any queries at all, then please feel free to ask. Within the My Accounts section of Changely, you can change your passwords within here. You can also set up two-factor authentication. Now, I'd recommend having two-factor authentication wherever possible on any type of cryptocurrency site. It just gives you that extra level of security in there. If you'd like to change your email address at this stage as well, you can move that in there and then simply click on to save. So how does it differ in terms of the different types of rates that you will have as opposed to different types of wallets? Well, what I'm going to do is just take you through an example now. So if, for example, I choose Ethereum to Litecoin, now you can see in here there's loads of different options in terms of your cryptocurrencies. There's, you know, absolutely loads of them. So it um, really gives you, um, you know, a lot of options in here. So you can see here that if we have one Ethereum, we will get 5.1743026.23 uh, Litecoin. So what I'm going to do now is I will show you if I was going to do the same exchange in my Exodus wallet, what type of rate I'm looking at. So if I now go to my Exodus wallet and do exactly the same exchange, so one Ethereum into Litecoin, I'm looking at 5115057077. I'll now just quickly switch back again. So now back on to Changely, you can see now that we're getting 5.17. Um, so 511 to 517, you know, it's quite a big jump there. Um, obviously, the different types of rates here in the fact that they only charge that 0.5% really takes into effect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take us through the exchange. So if I click on to exchange, and now I'm in the exchange, um, it obviously goes through and it shows me the different amounts. So it's telling me to check the amounts, go through a confirmation. So you can see here the amount is 1 um, Ethereum to 5.177 Litecoin. What it then does, it gives me the breakdown. So it tells me it would be 5.2. However, with that fee that's included, um, it takes us up to that 5177. So it, all it's doing is being very transparent of showing the, exactly what the fee was and what it was before the fee. It then tells you an estimated arrival time, which is between 5 to 30 minutes for that to arrive into your wallet. So if I now click on to next. So in here, you just need to copy and paste your recipient's Litecoin address into this section and then click on to next. Once you've clicked on to that, you then receive, um, you know, like a confirmation type of form that informs you of your um, the amount that you're exchanging. It tells you your recipient's address and it has the address in here as well. It tells you the expected exchange rate. It tells you the commission again at that 0.5%. It tells you the transaction fee and it also gives you the estimated arrival time. So if I now click on to confirm and make payment. What I now need to do is I now need to send one Ethereum to the blow address. Now you can copy the address and put that into your wallet or what you can do is you can scan the QR code. What I'm going to do is just do that now. So as you can see from this screen, it's just going through at the moment. It was waiting for the payment and the transaction is now complete. It then provides me with a full breakdown. Now just looking at the history section under my account, you can see the transaction in here. So you can see that it is complete with that green tick. 
you can see the date, you can see the exchange amount, and you can see the total fee here with a breakdown of that fee also. You can see the exchange rate that it used as well. Now it's actually worked in my favor, the fact that it took a little bit of time to go through, in the fact that before I was looking at exchange rate of 5.17, I now re actually received uh, the exchange rate at 5.255, um, so the amount I received after the fee is at 5.22. Changely also have quite a detailed FAQ section, so it's always worth having a look at these on those kind of sites. Um, it just tells you a little bit of information about them in terms of, you know, what is Changely, um, you know, how they work, and the fact that, you know, Changely's robot is integrated into the largest cryptocurrency trading platforms, including Polyanex and Bittrex. It tells us why we should trust them. It tells you information, you know, just questions and answers that you may have with regards to Changely. I think that's pretty good. Um, I always tend to have a look at the FAQ section on different sites like this. They're also very active on their Twitter account, um, and you can access that via at Changely underscore team, and they kind of post quite a lot of tweets on there as well. So I hope that you found this walkthrough useful today, and if you did, then please give me a like. If you'd like to use Changely for yourselves, then please feel free to use my affiliate link, which I'll put into the summary of this video. If you'd like to see more tips, reviews, and tutorials, then please hit subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.